today we're reviewing Lego The Hobbit, based off of the first two movies of The Hobbit series, and also coming out after the Lord of the Rings game. It has a few minor improvements to the previous game, one being a uh, trade system and incorporating the build system from the Lego movie. Um, but with actual materials, uh, as dwarfs would usually fill with materials. Go figure. Metals, precious gems, whatever. Um, it is really a rather interesting game. Um, lots of more, I mean, there's about... There's at least 20 more characters than in the Lord of the Rings games. In this one, um, I still have yet to 100% complete this game. I've also got this game on the PS4 and PS3. Um, yeah, unfortunately, you can no longer get them via the eShops on the consoles because their licenses ran out. But, um, other than that, um, I like that we can fight against orcs, the, tr the spiders of Mirkwood, um, you can stack dwarves in like a dwarf stack, um, and you can actually play through every area that was in the original Lord of the Rings game as well as every single area in uh, this one and so it's just except for Mordor. Mordor is only available in the Lord of the Rings games. The Hobbit has every single other area other than Mordor in within the game so I mean the only problem that I have with this game compared to the Lord of the Rings is you'll have to go to each individual area via the Eagle because they're not all completely interconnected like in the Lord of the Rings video game where you can just walk or ride, ride a horse. The horse is amazing. It got nobody else for the raises. Anyway. That's all I gotta say about that. Um, other than that, it's a fun game. And I highly recommend it, just like every other Lego game. I love my Lego games. I love my Lego sets. I love my trading cards. Anyways, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.